Well, we bring you a lot of stories about offenders, crimes, and arrests tonight. We're telling you about what happens after they've served their time. In part one of this series, we'll take you along as Clay County Community Corrections officials check in on offenders, some fresh out of lockup. New Sense Patsy Kelly got to tag along for the ride. Patsy, what's a common theme that you're hearing from offenders? Well, Mike, Patrice, I spoke to at least a dozen offenders on house arrest. Very few actually admitted to doing the crimes that landed them in this situation. Most said the home detention wasn't so bad, but they wished they had more freedom. I used to be so mad at the judge, the police, the people that got my kids, and really those are the people that have made me what I am today. This woman is on home detention in Clay County, but not all are like her. Some show no remorse. Others will deny their guilty to the grave. You violated your home detention rules, okay, on the surveillance we've been doing on you. You haven't been doing, you know, what you've been saying you were doing, okay? I've been in the house all day. These are the people Clay County Community Corrections has in their home detention program. Every step that they take outside the walls of their house is 100% monitored and tracked. The home detention has strict guidelines to keep these offenders out of trouble. When they violate the rules, they can become repeat offenders. Thomas, I need you to step on out here real quick. Go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. But it's also these people Community Corrections is trying to help. They're trying to keep these offenders from getting into trouble again. These individuals are on home detention, but we do not want them just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. We want them out there getting jobs, furthering their education, and if they're not doing that, then they're out doing community service for the public. Clay County goes one step further. They have a class called Thinking for a Change. It's a program designed to fill the pockets of an individual to give him more resources instead of acting out right on the spot that would get him into trouble. Now coming up tonight on My Fox 10 and News 10 Night Watch, we'll tell you more about the program Thinking for a Change, plus take you to the homes of more offenders. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Patsy.